Hey guys, Black Rose Duelist here with a deck profile on Sybil. I think that's how you say it. Sybil. Um, if you watch Arc V, or Arc 5, however you want to say it, um, I'm going to move around. It's a little too bright. Um, it's basically that, you know, red-headed, curly hair little girl that's, like, obsessed with Yuya? This is her deck, and they just added some of the cards, four cards from the deck, five, actually, to Dev Pro. Uh, they added two monsters, effect monsters, the Ritual, the Ritual Spell, and this trap that's meh. Um, I'm gonna go through the deck real quick, and then I'll tell you guys what everything does. Cephalon, Dark Lord Desire, Mateon. Triple Christia, Triple Manju, Triple Arrow Sylph, One Dijin Releaser of the Rituals, Triple Coin Nama, One Night Assailant, Double Skelegal, Double Magician of Faith, Triple Tarot Tray, the Sibylia, One Regeki, One Book of Caillou, Triple Ritual of the Sibylia, Double MST, One Book of Moon, Triple Book of Eclipse, Double Glare of the Cat, Black Cat, Double scales, one psalm morning, and then whatever you want to put in the extract that's like rank four, rank three, rank two, rank one, it doesn't really matter. You go in there maybe once every five pools. So, um, basically, the whole idea of the deck is to get your flip monster effects activated, which you can do by either flipping them or using tarot trays effect, which can flip monsters face down or face up once per turn at the end phase. You can uh, set one monster from your graveyard, special summon it, and set it face down. So it really does help. Um, you have some really good flip monsters here. Uh, Skelligal, when it's flipped, draw one card. Magician of Faith, when it's flipped, you can add a spell from the grave with your hand. When Nysilin's flipped, you can destroy a monster in the field. When she's flipped, you can set a uh, flip monster. When Arrow Sylph is flipped, you get to add a um, ritual spell card. And same with that was, uh, Manju. I totally forgot that it, uh, it's flipped, too. So when you flip summon it, you can add a ritual monster or a ritual spell card. So, um, those are all the flip monsters. You use cards like Book of Eclipse, Book of Taiyu, Book of Moon, and Tarot Tray to abuse their effects. Uh, flipping them up and down, up and down. Um, the reason for Sylphion, Dark Lord Desire, and Mateon is... You need a level 9 or higher to uh, ritual summon the ritual monster. So, these are your level 9 and hires. Uh, they all have some effects, too, they can use. Uh, Mateon, you can bounce everything on the field. Dark Lord Desire, it's just a big beater. Uh, if you have 10 or more monsters, you can just special summon Scyphion. Christia is also great because it's level 8, so all you'll need is a uh, level 1 or higher with it to ritual summon. And, um, all your monsters are fairies, so, except for Night Assailant and Magician of Faith. So, you can easily get out Christia, get a 2800 beater, it really does hurt everything, it's kind of like a Vanities, with, with a 2800 body. Um, other things, Book of Eclipse, you actually, I've been facing lots of Light Swarms, because, uh, the new Light Swarm support came out, and a lot of people are trying them. Book of Eclipse, you just use two of them. You can actually kind of deck out your opponent, which is really funny. Uh, they'll mill at the end phase still because they're flipped up at the end phase, and they get to draw one card for each monster they flip down from this effect. So you really can deck out Light Swarms now their deck that get like gets rid of their deck fast, like Infernoids. Uh, another thing, abusing Magician of Faith and keep getting back Raigeki from the graveyards are really funny. Like every turn you can Tarot Tray, special some Magician of Faith. Flip Magician of Faith, get Regeki back, Regeki their field, use Terra Trace Effect, set it face down, and just every turn you keep getting back Regeki. Um, if you wanted to spam Ritual Monster, uh, you can just uh, Magician of Faith spam uh, the Ritual Spell. Also, spam Drawing with Skelligil is really fun. And uh, yeah, this deck's really fun. Uh, I guess we'll show you a replay real quick because we still have some time. So, Sibbles. I have some interesting duels with these. One second. We have to wait for it to load. I, I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm probably spelling, pronouncing it wrong. But I know they're based off of Greek women in the, like, 
Egyptian or er, ancient times. That's what the Yu Gi Oh Wikia said. Okay, so here's a duel of Sybil. Um, they're actually really fast because you think flip monsters are really slow. But this deck is actually really fast. So we're playing against Gem Knights who got a really bad hand, four normals and a lapis lazuli or lazuli. So I get a pretty good hand, manage you. Um, in this replay, I had prep. I replaced this with another dark hole. Um, I noticed that prep only searches level seven and higher rituals, and the ritual you play is level four. So um, in this replay, that's the only thing that you have to really notice that's different. So he just attacks over my manju, sets his um, air force, which really caught me off surprise. You'll see here. I set my skull go. He destroys my solemn skills, which is me a little sad. Skull go. I get to uh, get arrow self. Uh, I draw my ritual spell and that makes me happy. I get to send the Matean to play Hero Tray. He goes Air uh, Air Force, and this is where I can uh, really use. Um, I'll move myself right here. I can really use Hero Tray's effect to flip him face down, and then it won't go back to my hand because you need to, it brings back attack monsters. But it, they can just run over it anyways, so it makes me a little angry. But the good thing now is we're clear for an Arc Lord Christia play with which really paralyzes the Gem Knights. So we get to bring back the ritual monster to our hand. Um, the ritual spell has a second effect where you can banish it to add a uh Silif. So I set this one that gets a ritual spell and I basically just waste his resources. He goes for one day of peace, which overall just helps me more in the advantage part of the duel. I guess I'm warning which really helps because he can't special summon, and whenever he does summon, I can just play Solemn Morning. I set up all my flip monsters for for whenever he gets rid of Christia, or when I get rid of Christia, I can just go off. So I get Magician of Faith, and I'm really getting ready for the big play. I think it's next turn or the turn after. Oh yeah, it's this turn. So what I do is, I kind of forgot that he could flip up the monsters and then draw two cards. Um, but what I wanted to do is, and his end phase... So he couldn't special summon. I could get uh, Christian face down so I can start special summoning. I get the MST, which helps. But he goes for Fragment Fusion, which makes me a little sad. But I didn't want to ruin or waste my Psalm Morning on it, so I let it go. Um, I get all my flip effects. Get back my Book of Tayu. I ritual summon into Tarot Tray. I get Coin Naga's effect to flip uh, or just uh, special summon Arrow Sill face down. I just attack over his stuff. I flip arrow slip back to add back the ritual. And now I have um, Tarot Tray's effect, which will set my Skelligal. But now I use his Gem Knight's effect to bounce back my Tarot Tray. My, I'm looking pretty good. Uh, he goes for Absorb Fusion. It gives him too much pluses, so I saw him warning that. Um, I don't know what this whole Enter Mage thing is doing in here, but it seemed interesting. I wanted to flip down all my monsters, so I played my um, Eclipse. Oh, another thing they changed. I played Lose a Turn, but I forgot Ritual Summoning. That whole ruined me, so I took that out too. Um, that was for the other Dark Hole. So I get all my flip summons now, getting tons and tons of pluses. Ritual Summon my Tarot Tray. And a really cool effect that I realized um, if you use Night Assailant for a Ritual Summon, um, or just it's sent to the graveyard from the hand, you can target a flip monster effect a flip effect monster except for him and add it to your hand from your graveyard. So it really did help too. Um, so I'm looking pretty good. The only problem is these two cards are kind of useless. If it was a dark hole or something, it'd be providing more backup. But now he goes for his Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond and I flip it face down with Hair Tray. Hair Tray is really good. It's like a book of moon every turn. Um, now here, I really got scared. He goes to Ruby with piercing damage, and I get 2100 damage, and I'm down to 200. But he's a draw off Skull Goal, so I'm hoping I can come back. I don't know what he was really thinking here, but he went for Diamond, and he has 3700, so it's pretty good. Um, now, he quit for some reason. I think he just knew he lost, because I have all my monsters here, and he knew I had the ritual stuff, so I could just flip him down flip my monsters up and attack for games so he quit there anyways i hope you like this duel and my deck try it out on dev pro it's really fun tell me your results um this has been black rose duelist with a sibyl deck profile um i'll see you guys later see you guys later see you guys later i keep saying that for some reason bye